Right guys, just at home, just received a parcel. Let's see what's in this one. It's from iCheck. So I've been waiting for this parcel for a little while. Um, it's the iCheck uh, tie deflators. Let's get rid of that for a second. It comes with a little pin, but I guess it's on all their product. Okay, so it comes in a nice container. I check uh, tire deflators. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a review on them, but I'm also going to do a part of that review is going to be a comparison uh, with the deflators that I used a couple of months ago, where I showed you it's almost like a manual deflation device. And also going to compare it to the Camp Boss ones. Um, so we're going to organise that to have a set of them. We'll compare the free devices for accuracy and also time. Hi guys, Craig here from Out There Touring. So just heading over towards Stockton Beach to do a quick little review on um, some tire deflators. Hi guys, back over at uh, Stockton Beach. So, thought I'd come over here today. It's been a few months since I've been over here. And last time I was here, I did a video on the um, Quickie tire deflator. Pretty sure you've all seen it. So since that video, I had a number of people uh, comment in regards to that looks like a hell of a process, long time, um, it's fidgety. So a few people recommended the uh, eye check. So on the inside of the cover, there's a how to use, and it comes with four deflators. So I'll see if we can get it. So we're going to do each tyre about 15. So we'll wind it all the way up. Got 15 at the top, but on this one, I'm at 10. So what you want to do is wind it down until the 15 there aligns with the 15 here. When that all aligns, you do your locking nut back up. So the 15 going up and down should be in line with the 15 going across. So what I'm going to do today is a comparison between the Quickie, the eye check, and I've borrowed off a mate, the Campos version, which is very similar to the iCheck. So what you do with the Campos one, is you just loosen your nut off, then you wind your centre part out until you get the pressure you want. So I'm going to run this at 15 as well. So that's it, uh, set at 15. So I'll set them all the same.
and I'm not too worried about time. Um, it's probably more about accuracy. I've adjusted the eye check tire deflators and also the Campos ones down to what they're indicating 15. So as I said, I'm going to try to do a comparison between them all. Obviously the Quickie will take the longest to get down because I've got to do them individually. Whereas the advantage of the Campos and the iCheck is that you can put one on and keep walking around the car and by the time you put them all on, uh, in theory, they should have come down to your required pressure. I'll get the compressor out now because I've had to let the tyres down to get on the beach. Uh, pump them up to, let's just do it at 30 psi and I'll do it 30 psi for every test. Right on 30. So just to clarify one thing, um, normally I do run my tyres around 38 to 40 psi. I've just pumped them up to 30 today just for this, uh, this test, basically. So I'm going to do the uh, eye check uh, tyre deflators first. So as I said, I'm, I'm not too worried about how long it takes to do, but I will try to time it. It won't be that accurate. I've got all the tyre caps off already, so the test uh, stays uh, consistent. So I'm just going to give that a go now. So I'll just start it now. As I said, it's not a race. It's as simple as just threading it onto the valve. Let's just thread it onto the valve. The pressure builds up and it pushes the inside of the valve out. So once it reaches pressure, it'll just cut out like that. So just going to remove the valve now. Now that's telling me only about 10 psi. I'll just check it with the other one. So with my inflator gauge, it's telling me about the same. So the front and the rear one on the passenger side, uh, my tyre pressure gauge is telling me that they're about 10 psi. Just going to check the driver's side and then I'll roughly know what sort of discrepancy I've got in when I set the valves. So the eye check tyre deflators, all tyres have gone down to about 10 psi. So I'll now check it against the camp boss ones and see how we go. I'll now pump the tyres back up, get them back up to 30 psi and then uh, try to camp off the feeders and see how accurate they might be. Just going to check the pressures, I ended up disconnecting the valves because they didn't cut off. The rear uh, driver's side, it had cut off. This tyre was the first one uh, with the valve put on and it was still going. And it's, I can tell it's quite flat. Same as the back passenger side. So I just want to see what sort of pressure it's telling me I've got in there. My gauge is telling me zero. So that's not a great start for the Campos ones, the fact that the valve didn't shut off. It's going to do the back tyre now as well. And I've got about uh, two or three psi in that. Time-wise, they're both running for about the same time. 
Um, but as I said, due to the way this tire is deflated, I removed the valve. Uh, I'll just go and check on the driver's side and see what those ones cut out at. Driver's side front, um, it's virtually down to zero as well. It's running about three PSI. The driver's side rear, um, it cut out by itself and cut out at 10. I suppose to uh, take a little bit of advice out of this is don't just rely on them. Um, I'm going to have to get these pumped up straight away and then I'll do the quickie ones as well. So just going to do the quickie tire deflator now. This one will take the longest to do. It's a manual process. And as long as you keep an eye on it, I reckon you'll get the most accurate results out of this one. Actually, I'm a little bit disappointed in the Campos ones. Um, but anyway, we'll see how we go here. Just thread it onto your valve, like I showed you in the previous video I did on the tire deflation. Push the middle arm in, which grabs the valve itself, unthread the valve, then pull out. Reality is that just took one minute. Time I undo it, take it off, it'll be about a minute 20. So you're looking at about six minutes. Four tyres with the quickie. Four minutes, 45 seconds. Let's just see how accurate it is. It should be fairly close uh, because you're personally manually doing it. 14. 14. So, what I'm going to do now, these are all at uh, about 14 psi. As I said, my goal was 15. I've manually done it, got it at 14. With the camp boss, three of the four tyres virtually went down to near zero, about two or three psi. With the uh, eye check, the, all of them cut out and they stopped at 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw a camp boss on this one, set it 15, and in theory it shouldn't let any pressure down. There we go. So I've only got 14 PSI set in here. I've got it set at 15 and it still wants to let air out. Same thing. Same thing. Let's try the eye check ones. Again, I haven't changed the settings on them. That one shut off. That one shut off. That one's shut off. And that one's shut off. As I said, this was just a quick little comparison video. I got no affiliation with any of the products that I've used. And this is just my um, my thoughts on it. So, as far as accuracy goes, the quickie was the most accurate. As far as time goes, probably took about a minute and a half longer. So, when I've done the times and I've put it on this video, I've said about four and a half minutes. I was moving the camera around a little bit, looking for another camera. 
while the, val uh, the valves were still letting air down. So let's say they took about three minutes each, the quickie took four and a half minutes. This was just my little comparison of a few different tyre deflators. Um, just for the purpose of this comparison, I've set all tyre pressures at about 30 psi, and my aim was to get them down to 15. So I set the Camp Boss deflators to 15, and also the eye check uh, deflators down to 15 psi. The quickie tyre deflator, you have to manually do that as you go. So I've kept an eye on that and got the tyres down to what this uh, indicates as 15 psi. The results. The Campos, three of the four didn't shut off automatically. And three of the tyres were down to about two or three psi when I removed the valves, or removed the deflators. And the other one was around about 10 psi from memory. The eye check, all valves have shut off automatically. And when I've done a pressure test on each tyre, they were all indicating about 10 psi. So there is a margin of error in the eye check valves. So just be aware of that if you're really critical about what tyre pressures you want to run. The, the quickie is the most accurate because you're manually doing it yourself. You're setting that pressure. You're on and off the valve to make sure you get to where you want to get to. Well, I hope that's helped you guys. Um, one last thing. The eye check tire deflators. From memory, I think I got them for about $79 or $89. The Camp Boss 4x4 uh, deflators, I think they're online for around about the 140 mark from memory. And the Quickie uh, tire deflator, got that from King's 4 Drive Super Center, I think they're around about $30. Right, guys, I hope that's uh, helped you out giving you some thought um, whether it's worth spending the money on the deer uh, varieties of tyre deflators. What I would recommend with any tyre deflation device you use is to keep an eye on it. If you set them at 15, walk away and they don't automatically shut off and you need some air, you don't have a compressor, all of a sudden you're uh, in a little bit of trouble. So keep an eye on it. Go around and check them. Don't just set them at 10 and hope that they're going to cut off. Actually walk around and keep an eye on it. Monitor your tyres as they go down. Get to know what your uh, tyres look like when they're at 10 psi or when they're at 15 psi. I hope this uh, video has helped you out, guys. As I said, it's just a quick one, just to do a bit of a comparison. Thanks again, guys, for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hit that little uh, bell, let you know there's another video. Subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, guys, going to wrap the video up there. Thanks again. Travel safely.